What a wonderful thought, buying a brand new home. But buying new can turn into a nightmare quickly if you're not prepared. Today, we start a four-part series on buying new construction homes, and we are going to start with where do you begin? Along the way, I'm going to share tips that can save you money and keep you from a lot of heartache and stress. Let's do it. Welcome back to my channel, John McCoy here with Keller Williams Realty, Chattahoochee North. I've been working with buyers wanting to buy new construction for going on eight years now, and I have learned a lot of lessons through those years. A lot of lessons. A lot. Let's start with, what do you mean by you want to buy a new home? Because basically you have two options when buying a brand new build. Option number one is buying a home that has already been built or is in the process of being built. These are sometimes called spec homes. This is probably the easiest way to buy a brand new home. Most, if not everything about the home is already picked out for you. The price is already established based on the standard build price plus any upgrades the builder decided to add into this home. The pros for doing this is that you can close quickly and you typically get a little bit of a discount for the total price of the upgrades that the builder has included. The cons are you usually don't get to pick anything out for this home. The paint color, the updates, types of flooring, and cabinets have already been picked out for you. Making it your own usually is not an option if you go this route. Now option two for buying new is building on a lot. In this case, you choose a lot to buy and build on, and you get to pick from a selection of floor plans and elevations that can be built on the lot you choose. Pro of this is that you get to choose everything about the house. The cons are that it takes longer to build, upgrades can be pricey, and not all lots are created equally. Meaning, if you choose a lot that is big or has a nice view, there is something called a lot premium that goes along with it. These extra costs can add up to a lot of money to build that you originally did not account for. So instead of making an offer on a home that has already been built, where you already know the sales price, having it built can cost a lot more than you originally had planned. Tip number one, figure out which of these you would like to do. Buy new already built or build your own on a lot of your own choosing. Next step is to get pre-qualified. When you are ready to start seriously looking, go ahead and get pre-qualified with a lender for a loan. Know how much you want to pay for a home and know how much you can pay for a home before you get your hopes and dreams set on a house you cannot get qualified for. We will talk more about lenders in the next video I do when I discuss the builder's preferred lenders. After getting pre-qualified, you need to find an area or areas you would like to live in and start looking into who are the builders that are building in the area that you are looking to live in. Research the builders. Look at their websites for the neighborhood and look at the floor plan, pictures, and a list of standard features that are in their homes. Also, go look at reviews for the builders. Tip number two is a word of caution. When you go to a builder's website to look at reviews, everything looks great. Usually, they have a four plus star rating on their own website, which makes sense because it is their own website which is meant to promote them. When you go to look at a website like the Better Business Bureau, just about every builder looks bad. Very bad. Like one star bad. I think some would have zero stars, but I think the minimum requirement is a score of one. I believe this discrepancy is due to the fact that reviews on a builder's website are taken from buyers who had good experiences and the company purposely asked those buyers to send in a review. On the other hand, if someone is going to the Better Business Bureau website, more than likely something went wrong and someone is filling out a complaint. Do your research and see what is being said about the builder and make an informed decision. 
I'll have some additional tips in my next video on how to find out more info about a specific neighborhood you are looking to buy in and why that information that you gather is the best information possible for you. Now the next thing for you to do is to find out if the neighborhood is just now breaking ground to sell homes or if they've been selling for a while. If you are one of the first ones into a neighborhood to buy, there is a risk reward involved. So tip number three involves this knowing the risk reward scenario. First into a neighborhood means you can have first dibs on the lots. And usually there are some good incentives when a neighborhood is first starting up. Their goal is to get out of the box running so they want to sell the first homes rather quickly. And if the neighborhood sells quickly, then prices will go up quickly. Buying first may mean that you buy at the lowest price that this neighborhood will ever offer. That is the reward. The risk is what if a neighborhood sells slowly? If you are the first to buy and then nothing is selling, the builders will reduce the price if need be and sometimes they will change up the floor plans to ones that can be built and sold at a cheaper price. I witnessed a neighborhood that first sold homes for $800,000. Well, they weren't selling and they had to drop their prices to $650,000 because only a few homes sold in a year's time. Those that bought early bought homes that are $150,000 more than the rest of the neighborhood. Ouch. That wouldn't be fun at all. So make sure you know the risk rewards. Now, on to letting your agent know that you are going to see new construction homes. Tip number four, it's crucial if you want to be represented by a buyer's agent. There are some builders that require you to be with your agent the first time you come in to see their homes. If you go and don't have your agent with you, then the builder can cut out your agent from the deal. Or, more properly stated, they will not pay out a buyer's agent commission to your agent if you choose to buy in that neighborhood. My suggestion is letting your agent know that you want to go see new construction and usually they can call the new construction agent that's at each site and let them know that you are coming out to see their homes. If any builders require your agent to tag along, then your agent can let you know and y'all can go together. Please don't get caught either having to pay out your own buyer's agent's commission at closing or even worse, not having an agent at all because you don't want to pay them. Well, that covers part one of buying a new construction home. In part two, we will discuss going to see homes and why the builder's agents are so pushy. I'll give you important tips about what to look for or better yet, what to look out for when visiting new builds. Thanks. And I will see you next time.